All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So I'm gonna do something a little different here and I'm gonna do a short-term and a long-term version um, technical analysis video for, for MVIS, for Mavis, all right? I mean, look at this chart, right? It, it's monstrous. And I think from what I've heard from a number of the comments, I'll be honest, I haven't really done much research, right? I'm not pretending I know the fundamentals or I know the technology or this or that, but um, I think I'm a lot more interested in this stock than a lot of others that I think have more hype than they probably don't need. So because of that, like I said, I'm going to take a, a short view like we normally do, but I also want to forward look a little bit. And um, again, my bread and butter is definitely these short term like movements, right? But um, I'm going to give you my thoughts looking outward, right? I'm going to look at the monthly, the quarterly, and maybe the yearly as well. But yeah, this is actually going to be a dedicated Mavis uh, microvision video because it's there's some juicy juicy shit happening here there's no other way of saying it all right so um, what are we gonna do today like I said we're gonna do the normal stuff we're gonna look at the daily and the weekly to just to talk about the immediate and critical doji like there's there's some immediate things we need to talk about right but I'm also gonna look at the monthly quarterly and yearly I think I want to just talk about what could be here all right um, once we're done up here, we will still use the MACD RSI and volume. And again, we're going to use all these same things, even when we forward look like these things that these things, these indicators, they're, they're good for my daily weekly. They're good for the one minute, the 15, they're good for the yearly, right? Like that is why I love this shit. You know what I mean? So sorry to curse so many times. I'm, that's not a good start. Um, all right, so let's get into it and look. First and foremost, I always say the day after the doji is going to be really, really telling. And with this 92 RSI with what kind of looks like a curve, like this MACD is also not as steep as it was, right? It was kind of on like a that trajectory slope, give or take. You can see it's kind of coming down. Um, I have to believe the cool off is going to come tomorrow. Like I really do. And, you know, I don't think we're coming this, like I'm really, really expecting this 335 to hold. Cause again, I'm not here pretending I know the math on the, on the eight moving average, but the thing's still going up and it's gonna go up tomorrow to like roughly right here, right? So I would love to at the lowest hit the eight. All right, hopefully we don't lose the eight. From there, look, we might come as low as the 200, but as long as we hold the 200, we'll be good. All right, because again, I'm just kind of trying to come back. Oh, it doesn't even happen here. We basically break it and then lose it. There was never a bounce point. Look, obviously once we broke it, we ran for a while, right? But there was no 200 moving average bounce. Even right here, I remember kind of, though there was one, I guess we'll kind of call that, but that also might've been the 50 moving average. I don't know how much of that was the 50 or the 200, but yeah, it was a wall again. It was a break. I don't know who I'm gonna give that credit to. And then again, it just kind of becomes this under. So if we can actually bounce on the 200, that's monster. If we bounce on the eight and never touch the 200, that's a monster. But honestly, I always say the day after the doji is going to be really, really telling. I have to believe this is where the calm down come. Look, I thought the cool down was going to be here. Honestly, I thought the cool down was going to be yesterday or Friday, Monday. Yeah, yesterday. Like, I'm still surprised this thing went up again, right? Like, there is a lot of juicy stuff happening here. I, I said it on the last video, I'm saying it on this video. And, and that's why I want a forward look. But I got to believe tomorrow's the cool down. The other crazy thing, though, for real, it could run to 508 because again, day after the doji is telling and I intentionally had no other resistances here because let's just let's just look at this channel, right? Shit, you can even come to back. Dude, you can come all the way here. Red, 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 nothing. Green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 nothing, nothing, green, 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 red, red, green, like there's just nothing but quick up and down. There's not a lot of horizontal here. So this thing legit and man, I mean, I'll be shocked. I've definitely seen higher RSIs than 92, but like, yeah, it could definitely keep running and and another silly big one or honestly, I got to believe we're coming down a little closer to 335 and that's kind of where I'm leaning here. But again, this thing has done well beyond what I've expected. You know what I mean? Um, again, looking at the weekly, right? The weekly is definitely, look, I'll at least say this. The weekly is saying that this 506 is going to become a really, really important resistance because it's already the 200, give or take. And not that long from now, the 100 is going to come down to it. All right. 
506 might be the money line long term. All right. Obviously, obviously, the first money line was basically breaking this, right? Once the 100 broke, it ran. And shit, even when I was wrong, breaking this ended up being another money line on its own, right? But I think as we forward look long term, if 506 breaks, that's when things can get a little wild, all right? And from there, let me kind of start moving into the monthly real quick, all right? And again, I kind of see it. Once this 50 breaks at like 6... 470 again i'm still going to put a little more weight on the 506 once the 506 breaks the next real place is eight that's that's this 200 and again if that breaks again it will become silly because we've broken it once before if we can do it again it'll go and look i'm not here to talk about 500 yet but I think 20 might be a realistic expectation for end of the year if this thing does what it's, you know, seems like it wants to do. And look, so far, this is a good monthly. This month has smashed a lot of moving averages and we're almost done with the month. So this is going to basically close here. I'll be curious if it closes over the orange line or not over the 20 moving average. But yeah, if it does, my next expectation is actually to come, yeah, pretty much the 50. That's the next places. And again, by next month, right? And then if that happens, that's where we go. So $8 is definitely not a next month thing, but hey, maybe it's a it's a, Janu a July, August, September thing. Maybe it's somewhere here, right? Um, from there, let's go quarterly. Oh, damn, there's a lot happening. Ooh, four six seven is a really important number. Wasn't that the monthly number? Four six seven, four six seven, four six four six four, four six four, four six seven. That's a that's a key key area. All right, that's going to be a little hard to break. So just keep that in mind. That's kind of I'm, I think I'm talking a little bit more short term than that. But again, dude, just look at it. If it can break that, I I pff, again I don't want to talk about twenty on a four dollar stock, but yeah, in a couple quarters, this this thing could. Th there's some there's some interesting things happening here, for sure. Because again, the next moving moving average theory, right, is if you can break all of these, you're gonna want to go to the next one, and the next one up here is fifty. All right, and I'm not I'm not trying to talk about forty dollar dreams on a four dollar stock, right? But um, a lot of crazy things can happen over five oh six, for sure. I think we just saw what happens over four seventy. Four seventy is not gonna be easy. 506, I think is a really, really important number on this stock. And this is a good yearly, all right? Because yearly we break, we don't really get to confirm that well over the last two years, but now it kind of like, this looks like a normal setup on our daily. It's just taking forever because it's a yearly, right? But um, yeah, this is interesting. I'm actually really glad I did this. Hey, let me know what you all think. Like I said, this is a, a little bit different from the normal, but, um, there's a lot to like here. Again, a lot of these later terms and a lot of these later numbers, right? That $8, the maybe a little higher than that into the 20s, right? That's that we're talking months, maybe towards the end of the year, right? And a lot can happen in between that. Like I just literally talked about the debt ceiling issues on my major market breakdown, right? But um, interesting, interesting to say the least. So, hey, appreciate your time. Thank you, thank you.